Laramie, Wyoming is the place to be tonight, hoping for a raucous crowd at 72-20 and get that Dome of Doom going again as the Wyoming Cowgirls hosting Pepperdine in the third round of the WNIT. She appears to be much quicker uh, at that post. Reverse layup is good by Mia Sati, the sophomore from Perth, Australia, and Pepperdine on the board first. Looking inside, nothing there. Cotton has it wide open. Gomez goes up and in. Marta Gomez gets the Cowgirls on the board. Pepperdine. Over to Bambrick. Sidongan has a crease all the way to the hoop, and that's an easy lay-in. Good defensive rebound by Marta. Arievitz all the way to the hoop. What a screen by Bailey Cotton and the freshman Carla Arievitz cuts it to one. one. Yeah, Leaving Sedangan wide open for three off the heel. There's House with that 6-4 frame. Can't get the putback. He'll blocked away by Bailey Cotton. I'll show you 6-4, Bailey Cotton <laughs> says. <laughs> Bailey's got it. She's going to take House right to the hoop and lay it in. Count it. And she's fouled. Bailey Cotton does not want this season to come to an end. Slajana going to back down her flug out to Vitalova for three. Why not? Teresa Vitalova, the freshman, knocks it down. And Looking at a fast break, but now it's down to 10 seconds. Yeah, you know, one thing I'm glad that she looked up at the clock and realized that there's only 16 seconds left to take the last shot. Taylor going to drive, spin in the lane, drop step off the glass. Yes, sir! Taylor Rusk as the Cowgirls close the first quarter and an 11 0 run. Yeah, they did last game. They went on a little a little drought without Bailey Cotton. Oh, but Quinn. <laughs> I mean, we saw her hit that big three against South Alabama, and here she is, do it again. Lindsay, now working one-on-one -on -one with Gomez. Back at it goes to Bambrick. Here goes the screen inside to Lindsay, goes off the glass and in. That was good offensive execution for the Waves. Cowgirls four of seven from the line. Pepperdine three of five, and a three-pointer is good for Bambrick, and they keep chipping away. Everything outside right now. Cotton and Tapia, not a lot of good spacing there, but Cotton, it allows her to take it strong to the basket. Bailey Cotton has eight. Cowgirls up six. 13 on the shot clock. Bob it in to Rusk. Backing her way in, little mismatch, and turnaround floater's good for Taylor Russ. It is down to two. Did you always find that? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's how he got a thousand points. <laughs> Cowgirls led 20 to eight at one time as Quinn Weideman, a tough shot, working hard inside. Quinn Weideman puts it up 28 24. Yeah. Rusk will inbound. A wide open, Slajana Rokovic, easy lay in. And again, the Cowgirls close the quarter strong. Pepperdine got it down to two. Wyoming able to get two straight buckets, and they'll take a six-point lead into the locker room. And around the screen is Bambrick. Bambrick gets it to Robinson Baycoat. Just a smooth jump shot right there for Robinson Baycoat. Cuts it to four. Over to Ariovets, looking inside for Gomez, playing with those three fouls. Backing her way down on Sati, goes across the lane, gets it to go. Tough drive, Marta Gomez. Bambrick over to Robinson Baycoat. Driving on Cotton off the glass and in. Boy, she scored every point here in the third period for Pepperdine. Wait a minute. She's up to Cotton wants it inside. 11 on the shot clock. Tapia will drive. Tapia goes up, scoop layup, gets the roll. Tara Tapia. Nice drive and a hoop lead. Ayurvets drives inside to Bailey Cotton off the glass. Easy bucket for Bailey and double figures with 11. Over to Bailey, Bailey ball fake, drives in off the glass over the top of Lindsay and it's now a six point lead for the Cowgirls again. Good defense by Bambrick and again Pepperdine with a chance to tie. Flug, baseline drive, goes up and in and we got a tie ball game. Russ makes the three, drives in, kicks it out to Weideman. Quinn will drive it into the lane, goes up with her left. Wow, Quinn Weideman. That is not freshman-like for her. The back Thank iron you. and the rebound run down by Sidonga. She'll kick it out for the fluke for three, and Pepperdine has their first lead since early on in this game. You really just have seen their confidence rise throughout this third quarter. They knew exactly who they were going to 
on that offensive transition. Pick and roll to Slajana. Rakovic hangs on the rim and drops. And the Cowgirls right back. He's I agree. Arievitz cut into the basket, flips it over to Vitalova. Vitalova with the left, around it goes and drops. Teresa Vitalova, another freshman producing for the Cowgirls. And Arievitz again pleading with this crowd. Stutter step, Robinson Baycoat, and one. Arievitz for three, that is good! Oh boy, Carla Arievitz sends this crowd into a frenzy. Vitalova had to change something up. Robinson Baycoat spins, fades wow. away, and gets it to go. And just like that, it's down to one. Honestly, I wouldn't have anybody else shoot the ball live <laughs> oh, the rest of the game. No, no. I feel like I could coach this team right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both could. <laughs> back eight on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock. Step back, Arievitz gets it to go. Boy, are you kidding me? Carla Arievitz. Boy, House and Cotton are battling inside. Bailey gets it. She wants to drive, backing her in. May have shuffled the feet, but goes up with the soft jumper and puts Wyoming back up four. Wyoming looking to do it. Battle with 10 on the shot clock. Trying to get free, steps back and almost popped out, but got it to go on the long jumper. She completely traveled out there. Step back three for the lead, battle. That's no good. Robinson Baco goes up and ties it up. 20. When do you take it? Oh gosh, probably the last, yeah, 10 to eight seconds. Arievitz wild shot, kick it to go, but she draws the foul. When she took that ball against San Diego State, and she hit two big free throws mm -hmm. to send the Cowgirls into overtime. Yep. So. One team from the quarterfinals of the WNIT trying to get it to Robinson Baycoat. Out it goes to Flug. Flug to the hoop, leans in, shot up, rolls up, and the Cowgirls hang on to win this one. Cowgirls into the quarterfinal round of this WNIT as they hold on to win 61 to 60 here in front of over 5,100 in the Arena Auditorium. What a basketball game, guys.